This is your Paleo Bite for the week of March the 365th. Ah, the good old days. Blue skies, pretty flowers, giant reptiles soaring the sky, swimming the sea and towering above you on land. Life was pretty good 66 million years ago, but then everything changed when the fire nation, I, I mean the, the meteor, struck. The mass extinction event that killed most of what we would recognize as dinosaurs hit the Earth 66 million years ago and in what is today Mexico, leaving a 180 kilometer crater. The collision released a billion times the equivalent energy of the atomic bombs dropped in Japan at the end of the World War II, causing ocean acidification and a nuclear winter. This event wiped out a vast number of species, including most of the dinosaurs, but note that I said most. Because birds survived, and birds, well, are dinosaurs. Birds are descended from small carnivorous dinosaurs, related to the befeathered ancestors of Velociraptor and Deinonychus. And while a pigeon might not look like a creature from the land before time at first glance, you just have to know where to look. Let's bring in some paleontological jargon. An apomorphy is a trait that is different from those of its ancestors. While the toothless beak of a modern bird as well as the lack of a bony tail and ability for powered flight, are not characteristics seen in most dinosaurs. The presence of these apomorphies does not take away from the dinosaurishness of birds. No more than humans having chins and hairless bodies stops us from being mammals. While apomorphies are traits that are new, plesiomorphies are traits inherited from an animal's ancestor. Now there are tons of these in birds, but for a quick and easy test, just take a look at the feet of a bird. In fact, let me show you one. Now, if you look at a parrot's feet, like this love bird's, you can see both plesiomorphies and apomorphies very clearly. Despite a whole body covered in bright feathers, the love bird's feet are slender, scaly feet with sharp claws, much like you might see on a dinosaur. These are plesiomorphies. However, parrots are really interesting birds, and you might notice an apomorphy here in the arrangements of the toes. Parrots have adapted to climbing as well as flight, and their toes, with two facing forwards and two facing back, as well as their strong beaks and muscular tongues, are really useful in climbing trees and other plants. For those looking for extra credit, the name for this arrangement of toes is zygodactyly. On top of this, birds, obviously, have feathers, However, lots of dinosaurs had feathers too. Dinosaurs from Archaeopteryx to Microraptor to Cynosauropteryx have been discovered with preserved feather impressions. The ancestors to Velociraptor and even Tyrannosaurus rex likely had feathers to some degree or another, whether just for warmth, for balance, to attract mates, or even for flight. Something to think about. Taylor's oldest time. Oh my God. Boo, 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 boo. Oh, stop it. <laughs>